Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt here, back with another video. And today I figured we'd go ahead and try to beat Wonderlands in under one hour. Now, in order to pull it off, we do have to do a geared run. And what that is, is basically we have a fully geared character, skill tree, we're max level, and we can just take on the story. Our goal is to beat the game as fast as possible, so we do need to have the fastest setup possible too. Now, at the moment, we do not have a new game plus for this game because they haven't really added that, but with the power through save editing, we can go ahead and reset all of our missions and start at the beginning of the game. Don't worry though, for those who want to see a brand new fresh character run, I'm still working on that. Um, it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of planning, so I figured I'd get the easier run out of the way first if you would, you know, call this easy. So yeah, we're going to be doing a geared character, and this is known as a geared any percent speed run. And at the same time, we are going to be doing segmented too. So each time I hit a save station, like right there, we're going to save quit, back up the save, and repeat the segment over and over until we get it perfectly. Through the power of editing, we can go ahead and put together a, you know, theoretical, almost perfect run. So there's going to be little to no mistakes in the run at all. All right, jumping right into the run, you might notice that when we save quit, the timer stops, and that's because we're going by the end game time. So for any loading screen or sitting at the main menu, that will not count for time at all. This is a common rule in speedrunning, so that anybody who has a really, really fast PC will not have a huge advantage. Also, since the loading screens don't count for time, I did cut them out of the video to make it a little bit faster pace for you guys. Because, let's be honest, nobody wants to watch a loading screen. So, who are we playing for the run? Well, we're going to be playing the Stabomancer and the Spellshot. Um, honestly, damage doesn't really matter too much for the run for, you know, Chaos Zero. So the main focus is to have all the speed we can. That is why we're playing the Spellshot, so we can hold two Buffmeisters uh, with the Ambihextrus. And once one is about to wear off, I can pop the other Buffmeister and then have that speed up at all times. Not only do we get bonus speed from the Buffmeister, but we also get bonus damage too. And thanks to the spell shot, if I hit a critical hit with my Capstone, I can get my Buffmeisters back. Basically, we're going to be chaining our Buffmeister speed over and over. As for the Stabomancer tree, we have the haste skill for all the movement speed. And that's basically the build. There's not a whole lot to that. One more thing I want to mention before we jump into the details of the run is that I am using a fresh profile. That was shown at the very beginning, so we do not have any myth rank at all. That will even the playing field because it would not be very fair if I had, you know, 6,000% damage from my myth rank. That is everything I think I need to cover for the intro of the run, so obviously we're trying to go very, very fast. If there's any downtime, I will be doing some silly tricks because I want to make this a visually pleasing run to watch. And right here, we're going to play a scroll to skip over dialogue and put on the reviver spell because we can use it on this lady. And I will skip having to do the slow revive on her. So we're waiting for the objective to pop up, and once it does, we can cast a spell, get her up, and then go for a save quit. Now, for this run, there is going to be a lot of save quitting. Not only does it skip over dialogue and proceed the mission forward, but it also allows me to make a new segment and I can, you know, reduce my mistakes. If I were to bump into a wall, I would redo the segment, or if I went to fight for your life, I'd redo the segment. So what you're seeing in the background here are all the perfect segments I got for that section of the game. I'm not claiming world record or anything like that. In fact, this is not even being submitted to the leaderboards. This run was done only for fun, and I want to see how fast you can beat the game. Alright, so where is all that extra speed coming from? Because obviously the Buffmeister cannot give you that much. Well, in the Coiled Captors DLC we recently got, we got something good out of it. And that was the Slip and Stun Amulet, and that gives you a lot of extra slide speed. Basically, it's like a baby snowdrift from Borderlands 3. Combine the Buffmeister, the Slip and Stun, and the speed skills from my skill tree, and we have over 100% movement speed. That's a good amount. So, I do want to say sorry in advance, you're going to be hearing the Fate Maker is lost a lot for the playthrough. Like I mentioned before, scrolls can skip dialogue and kick the mission forward. So, by playing that scroll, we can skip a lot of NPC's dialogue and play the game faster. Alright, onto the weapon choices. So, the main weapon for mobbing is going to be the Ruby Spite. Um, we get one kill and then we get insane fire rate and aimbot with it. So, all I'm doing is looking at my minimap and just shooting in the direction of red dots. Yeah, it's really that easy. Well, it isn't perfect. Sometimes enemies can be behind cover, and if that happens, the shots will go into the wall. But again, we're doing segmented, so if any mobbing went wrong, I just scrapped it and went for a better segment. Alright, so we're coming up on Ribula, the first boss, and Ribula doesn't have that much HP. And for a bossing weapon, we're using a crossbolt masher. These things have insane damage. In fact, look at this. Yeah, the health bar couldn't even pop up at the top of the screen in time, and he was already dead. From here, we have to wait for the mission to kick forward, and then we can go for a save quit. And I will skip all the Dragonlord's dialogue, and we can proceed to the overworld. Now, you might be thinking, why not skip over the Dragonlord's dialogue with the scroll like you did before? Sadly, a lot of NPCs in this game cannot be skipped like Tina, or certain bosses, and of course, Dragonlord too. Their dialogue has a really high priority, so the game doesn't skip over it in any form. I believe they did that to make sure that nobody could skip over it, so there's no way you'd miss that, you know, crucial information. Anyways, we grabbed a story scroll there, and we skipped over that story scroll with another scroll. And that's going to complete the mission faster. You can see there on the right side, we got the mission reward. And now we're headed to the overworld, and we can do our first overworld skip. For the run, the overworld's a pretty straightforward map. 
Um, there are some pretty cool skips here and there, but sadly, they don't save a lot of time. So for the most part, Overworld is going to be run point A to point B. Now, here's actually the biggest skip for the run for the Overworld, and that is going to be to skip this encounter. Believe it or not, if you enter this encounter and just save quit, it will actually skip over it. Um, the reason why this actually works is because if you look at the mission on the right side as you're heading over to the uh, encounter, it doesn't say anything about reaching that encounter, it just says reach Brighthoof. You can see here the dude's gone and we can just proceed forward. But yeah, like I was saying, the overworld is, you know, pretty straightforward, point A to point B. So even if I launched across the overworld to the end of the game to fight the Dragon Lord, well, he wouldn't be there. The Borderlands series has been really good about locking you to your mission, so you need to do whatever the mission says first before you can actually proceed forward. Alright, so we made our way to Queen's Gate, and Queen's Gate is a pretty straightforward map, just a bunch of mobbing. Um, I don't think there's any skips, uh, actually no, I lied, there's one skip we're gonna do up ahead, but I won't spoil it. But yeah, for the most part, it's gonna be a lot of required mobbing, so what we're gonna do is proceed forward here and hit the waypoint. And again, if you ever see the Fate Maker is lost at the bottom or any kind of Fate Maker dialogue, that's, you know, me playing a scroll. And now we'll kick the mission forward, allowing me to do stuff earlier. In this case, the waypoint for fighting these enemies popped up earlier, and now we can just quickly take them out. I know this super bad skeleton see final enemy fight, so we'll take him out and then proceed forward. Then from here, we're going to hit the cutscene trigger and then save quit right away. The reason we save quit is to skip that extra dialogue and get the cutscene right away. And then now it's going to be a lot of save quitting because what we're going to do is trigger the objective, save quit, trigger it again, save quit, and rinse and repeat. Now you can dialogue skip all this and you know proceed forward, but instead we're going to be doing a bunch of save quits. Save quitting is an extra 1 to 2 seconds faster than skipping over the dialogue. It is kind of a pain in the butt to save quit this many times, but hey, it's a speed run and I want to save every single second that I can. Right here, we're going to wait for the dynamite to start shrinking and then we can go for a save quit again. And then when I jump back in, we can grab the C4 right away, save quit one more time, and then the door is going to be instantly opened. And that will be the end of the save quitting limbo. Alright, let's talk about the fast travel stations. If you're familiar with all of the other Borderlands in the series, you might know that if you do your next playthrough, then you will unlock fast travels early. So if the mission says you can head to a map, then you can actually just travel there right away. There's no need to run all the way there on foot and then trigger the fast travel for the first time because, well, you did it in a previous playthrough. You saw there we cleared out the mobs and the fast travel unlocked right away. And then I can grab it on my minimap, save quit, and then spawn at that fast travel when loading back in. Now, if this was a brand new character, brand new run, that fast travel would not be unlocked and I'd have to run all the way up to it to trigger it for the first time. Again, we're doing New Game Plus, the mission says we're good, and we can unlock it right away. Alright, cool skip for this map, so instead of taking the catapult, we can just slide across the ground and launch ourselves across. Then we can hit that save, save quit, and kick the mission forward. From here, we're gonna have two more mobbing segments, we gotta complete real fast. And I'm gonna say right now, this area up ahead for the mobbing was terrible. I mean, for the speedrun, what you're seeing in the background was a really nice clip of it being cleared fast. But that segment alone took probably, I don't even know, 50 resets. A lot of the failed segments were enemies spawning behind walls or in bad locations, so I had to reset many, many times until I got perfect spawns. From here, we're waiting for the bridge, so I'm just counting in my head until I can jump across. And I gotta make sure I time it right, because if I do it early, I'm just gonna fall in the water and die. We'll hit the save again, go for a save quit, and then we're gonna jump in, meet Paladin Mike, save quit again, hit the stone, save quit again, and then we can do the mobbing. Yeah, just like BL3, there's a lot of required dialogue that just wants to tell you about the story and, you know, what's going on. But we don't have time for that, we're trying to go fast. Okay, this mobbing was actually pretty fun because the location is big and wide, and there really wasn't that many sneaky spots where enemies can hide and, you know, avoid your bullets. The spawn locations will be the same every time, so you hit the middle, then the right side, then the left side. Right now, we're finishing off the right side, and then we'll get the troll in the middle of the map. And then from here, the rest of the skeletons will spawn on this left roof, and then we can just shoot in that direction and take him out. Right after that, we're gonna get another fast travel unlocked early, so we can go ahead and grab it, spawn over there, and meet up with Paladin Mike. After this, we're going to see a pretty nice example of skipping forward with the fast travels early. So we meet up with Paladin Mike and then we have to go over to Brighthoof. But thanks to New Game Plus, look at this. Brighthoof has a fast travel in the middle of the map. By going over there, we're going to be closer to the bridge and then we can, you know, seduce the bridge. And then we can proceed on with meeting Butt Stallion and all that cool stuff. We have the speed to clear the waters, we can just jump back and hit that waypoint. And then from here, we're going to do the usual and take out a bunch of mobs. Now, you might notice that textures load pretty slow for this map. You can see they're still pretty smooth and don't look like they're fully rendered in. That is because there's actually a small memory leak in this game, so if you save quit a lot, it's going to slow down your game. And the only way to fix it is to restart your whole entire game. This is only an issue on PC, so for console players, don't worry about it. Alright, this is a weird one, so we're going to bonk our head on the bridge here and then fall in the water. Don't worry, that wasn't an accident, so we're waiting for the hearts to pop up. There it is, on the left side. Go for the save quit, jump back in, and you're going to see that we hit the save station right behind the bridge door there. Yeah, I guess by slamming into the bridge, maybe your hitbox pokes through the wall a little bit. So that means we can skip watching the bridge lower down. From here, we have a lot of required mobbing, so we'll just clear them out and then wait for the guys at the front gate. 
And I gotta make sure I dialogue skip before I kill the final dude to skip over, um, I think it's Pound and Mike talking here. So yeah, Pound and Mike doesn't get a word out, we get the mission waypoint, and then we save quit. As for the rest of Bright Hope, it's just a bunch of save quitting. We just gotta meet up with Butt Stallion and then we can head our way to the Shadowgrave Barrow. Um, Shadowgrave is a pretty cool map, in fact, you're gonna see the first rocket jump over there. But again, let's go ahead and not spoil too much here because we're not at that point yet. So right now we gotta meet up with Butt Stallion, and Butt Stallion is so freaking slow for a speedrun. Thank goodness we can save quit because if we couldn't, we would have to watch very long animations of walking around and just, you know, wasting time. Right here is actually a very tricky dialogue skip. You have to get it off right as soon as you load in. If you don't, Paladin Mike will talk and then you have to wait for Butt Stallion's animation and then it's just not a good time. Anyways, the bridge is lowered and we can head to the overworld map again. And you might notice there, there was a fast travel on my left side, so why didn't I take it to get over there faster? Well, that fast travel doesn't activate until later in the story, um, even though it looks activated, so it cannot be used yet. Alright, on to Shadowgrave Barrow. This map is pretty cool. Shadowgrave is going to be the Zomboss map, and sadly, Zomboss cannot be skipped for a lot of dialogue. Like, you can play a scroll if you want to, but Zomboss will just talk right over it. Um, for some reason, Zomboss has a higher priority, so you can't skip over him. So, instead of waiting behind the gate and waiting for Zomboss to stop talking, what we're going to do is actually, well, stock up on ammo real quick. And then right after, we're going to rocket jump over the gate. If you use a low level times 3 torque launcher, you can shoot at the floor and then reload your mag instantly by doing a swap reload. And then after 10 seconds, the stickies will automatically blow up and then launch you over the gate. And you can see here the wall is very tall, taller than the gate is visually itself. And that means we can proceed forward, hit the save station, and wait for the trigger to pop up. Now, the reason why we save quit is because if you don't, you have to watch Zomboss's soul kind of fly all the way over to the gate. And so by save quitting, you can skip over that. From here, we can go forward, take out a few mobs, and then take out Zomboss. Alright, I didn't really have a second to explain it, but swap reloading is a thing back in Borderlands 3. By aiming down sight and then swapping away and swapping back to your weapon, your gun will be instantly reloaded and you can skip the reloading animation. In the BL3 speedrun, we used that trick quite a bit using the Hellwalker, but for this run, we're not going to be using it as much. Um, we really only need it for rocket jumping and spamming our masher. That's it. Alright, I'm back. Future Jolt's here, and it has been four months since the last bit of commentary I did on this video. Uh, keeping it simple, Wonderlands kind of dropped off on my channel and in general. And so, I'd hate to say it, but my motivation to finish the commentary for this whole entire video dropped off too. Now, I considered scrapping the project, but I already put so much time into it that I really didn't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to post it as is, and hopefully you guys enjoy the run. Outside of the downfall of Wonderlands in general, the speedrun was still a lot of fun to do. And there's still going to be a lot of cool tricks I can't wait to show off. Anyways, I'll go ahead and dip in at the end of the video for the outro, and I'll see you guys there. Enjoy the run. The faith maker is lost. Yeah. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, what truth remains standing in this wreckage? The forces of evil must. Place the tome of fate on the pedestal. Fatemaker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire, dreams, dragons, magic. It will end only one way, with the ultimate defeat. 
the sure. maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The fate maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing in this direction. The force of the map must be stopped. Now this is a battle! Ah, mother! 
seems to be coming from a caged crystal hanging before the corrupted heart. The fate maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains sta- Lord, the Barbarian awaits you back at the city <coughs> Okay, let's get this stupid. <coughs> Maker stops at nothing. I thought I'd seen the worst from her, but a whole ocean destroyed just to get her story back on track. And you strummed along, happy to play. The fate maker is lost. What was felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Oh, but don't. The fate maker the fate Kill maker's it. journey begins as I see your path is blocked by poisonous soup. <laughs> Usually not a problem if you just swim over it. Good thing I am the greatest alchemist alive. Or at least the greatest in my family. The solution is my sea kill solution. It will melt them away! Oh! That be Polly's eye patch. Every dog seems to get helps her see where to go. Those be the navigational flappers. Keeps Polly high in the air to spot sails on what used to be the horizon. That be Polly. Back in business. Is lost. 
lost. <laughs> what once felt so sure is now. the tale of woe that brought me down to the depths of what used to be the ocean. Hell yes. <laughs> Backstory. Great, I'm just gonna tune out for a minute. I was the fiercest pirate captain on the buttery seas. I had a fine ship, a loyal crew, and... ...and I lost the <laughs> You didn't even explain <laughs> the curse. Pirate story be insufficient for ye. Never mind then, you scurvy cur. Ha! See? She's got nothing. She always forgets the drop character movement is scrambling for a decent motivation. You should have seen right before me! That's the rest! Watch out, crew! That's Death Hand, the most callous jailer of us all! He's gonna put up a fight! They were the Fate Maker's me, journey. We can't get her sailing this way. Grab the captain's wheel. He'll have stashed our flag below decks, crew. Fight! The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile. Broken. That's the ready. Remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. Despite the bygone fear, he really has been recruited. Crew, prepare to blast those bugs to the seventh team! Before I send you back to the Sorther Gate, I send your crew to the depths of hell! <laughs> Only the barest wisps of sunlight have cut down to this. <laughs> Woo! I just remembered! You're gonna be one of my favorite characters. The Fate Maker. <laughs> what once felt so sure <laughs> is now fragile. Broken. Still, one truth remains. The Fate Maker's journey begins as so many <laughs> with a heart full of fire. <laughs> Dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only one way. With the ultimate defeat of all What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. The Fate Maker's journey begins as so many 
with a heart full of fire, dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only one way, with the ultimate defeat of all. The thing maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile. so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the wreckage. The force so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreck. The forces of evil must be stopped. I'll... Do you see how... Fate Maker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only in one way, with the ultimate defeat of all evil. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing in this the forces of evil must. The Fate Maker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only when the ultimate defeat of all. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. 
the fate maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. Okay. The fate maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing in its direction. The forces of evil must be stopped. The big maker. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. Uh, just to be clear, they're not that way. My spell? Ah! Keep them coming! Reason! The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing up this time. The forces of evil must be stopped. so sure is now fragile and broken. Still. What? What's all this mining? What is the Dragon Lord doing here? I may have, and this is on me, ever so slightly, but I feel like I've grown a lot since. You know, I've heard a lot of talk about heroes, and to be fair, most of it's coming from other necromancers, but I'm starting to see why you guys have the reputation you do. The fate maker. <laughs> what once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the wreckage. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so Ragu, sure is now Murata, fragile and Pesto. broken. Still, Ragu, Murata, one truth remains standing Pesto. amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil Ragu. must be stopped. Hey, the Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. Welcome! The Fate Maker is lost. What was felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile.
so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The parched waste stretch out before you. You can feel the land itself thirsting beneath your boots. Tread carefully, Fate Maker. Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile. Still, the Fate Maker seeks the power necessary to emerge triumphant. It is close. It need only be taken up by heroic hands. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. The evil soul is corrupting the well. Emerge to defend it! My conscience is clear. I can do this all day! Felt so sure is now 
fragile. Broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the record. The forces of must stop. They think they're lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile. Broken. Still, one truth remains standing against the wreckage. The forces of evil must be stopped. Tina, are you padding out the campaign so that you stay here to the bunkers and bad attitudes? Does it bother you to know there were faith makers before you? All heroes of their own stories, but they never lived up to their namesake. They just played her game and went through the motions, because that's exactly what she wants. Back in I hope you leave your place. Ha! Keep them coming! To us, fellas! She wants you to think you're special, unique, one of a kind. Do you even have a name, Fate Maker? Has anyone ever said it? Yes! Has she? Yeah. Didn't think so. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing in this direction. The forces of evil must be stopped. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Yeah. One truth remains standing against the wreckage. The force of evil must be stopped. The fate maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. Still, one truth remains standing amidst the wreckage. The force of evil must be stopped. You hear? <laughs> My queen! How could you corrupt something so good and pure? I care about nature! The fate maker is lost. What one? Only one? The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile and broken. What truth remains standing amidst the rest The forces of evil must be stopped. The Fate Maker is lost. What once felt so sure is now fragile. Still, one truth remains standing. The forces of evil must be stopped. This is it! 
As you crest... Take him down, newbie! You can do this! For you are the fate maker! Fire you haven't seen him! Keep it up! We won't go easy on you! I believe in you! Not empty yet! Right over there! You want to come? And there you have it. Final time at 45 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, we beat Wonderlands in 45 minutes. Uh huh. Anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed the speedrun despite the lack of full commentary. Uh, if you do have any questions of what happened in the run, go ahead and comment them below and I will try to get back to you. But nonetheless, if you guys did enjoy it, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed this run, then be sure to drop a sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.